And there was another question that I heard somebody else ask today, and it really kind of hit me. It was like, is this a hobby or is it part of your passion and part of your purpose? So I was like, oh, that's a good question. That's a good question to ask yourself with anything you're doing. You know, if you're, um, even your business, you know, and I asked, I had to ask that, you know, like, wow, that's a good thing to ask. Is this a hobby or is it really part of my purpose for being here? You know, what's the underlying reason why I'm doing what I'm doing, why I'm spending my time doing what I'm doing? And, you know, for me, uh, as you guys know, I'm planning to travel to Italy and to paint. Well, being an oil painter is part of my purpose. And I've had a desire to travel the world for years. I mean, I've always wanted to see the rest of the world, you know, and to be able to connect to different people and uh, the, the plants and the different continents and to feel them and to experience them and to share what I experience through art. But my question is, is, you know, being on Periscope part of that is, or is that, you know, just a hobby? Is that part of the, the whole purpose? And I realized this, I am totally fine already being where I'm at. I'm okay. I live in a beautiful home now. I, I live in a beautiful location. And, you know, for you guys that have been following me, I mean, you know, I've shared it with you. It's absolutely stunning. It's beautiful. I love it here. This has been a dream of mine. And yet my, my heart is calling me to go further, to go out and to experience more. And I think about, you know, uh, taking you with me and my thoughts of doing that. And I realize that the truth is I've had that deeper purpose or passion since I was a little kid. Uh, I was always, as a little kid, somebody who wanted to share with others. And if I could see how what I did could help them, I was always doing that. And I also remember as a little kid that the first time uh, I was aware of a cassette recorder, you know, with the old tapes that you could put in and record. And I remember, I was like, wow, I'm so fascinated with that device. I want one because I, I could imagine, you know, the possibilities of actually recording my voice and seeing what it sounded like. So I remember when my mom and dad bought that old tape recorder, okay? <laughs> and I remember it's like, wow, okay, so I put a tape in and I recorded my voice for the first time and I was so amazed and I was also shocked by it because you know, your voice doesn't sound the same to you as it does to other people. So I was really fascinated by that and I was always fasc fascinated by TV and recording and, you know, the computer and all of the things that came along. I was fascinated by that because I could see that it was a way to share myself with other people in different ways. And I really had a passion for that. So for a long time, I've, I'm holding this, so it's kind of shaky. I'm trying to get it to not be, but anyway, trying to see if I can do this a little different so it's not shaking so much. Sorry about that. Anyway, um, you know, I thought about for a long time that I wondered how I could share what I knew or what I've learned on a grander scale. And I had it as an intention I've even put it on a vision board for a long time. It's like a desire to share my message globally. And it wasn't until Periscope came along that I realized how uh, technology is making it so that we can do that. And I can share my message on a global scale. And so, you know, I thought about that today. I was like, wow, you know, the truth is, 
even though doing these scopes is challenging, it is challenging in lots of ways. It just like pulls stuff out of you and you have to face yourself. You have to face a lot of things and be willing to grow yourself that, you know, I'm willing to do it. I'm willing to continue to face myself, to continue to grow and show up on the planet because, you know, even though I could, you know, go to Italy on my own, enjoy that by myself and, you know, be very fulfilled, I realized that it will be way more fulfilling if me living my dreams and doing what I love if it can really inspire other people, if it can inspire you to um, go into a deeper place in yourself and find what it is that you love and get on purpose with yourself even more, if it can inspire you to do that, if it can inspire you to take actions, to grow yourself, to live a bigger purpose for yourself, then it's worth what I go through to grow myself and to share that out loud, you know, to be vulnerable, like right now, you know, who likes to get on uh, something and, you know, be vulnerable like this and, you know, be emotional, you know, you know, yeah, you know, we could play small. Um, thank you. I appreciate that. And I, I really appreciate those of you who do get on here, you know, my friends, you know, Melody and Wayne, uh, Deanna, Joe and, and Julie, because, you know, like I said, I did not put the location thing on because I knew it would just be my uh, best friends that would get on here, you know, <laughs> and I just wanted to just share my my thoughts and my feelings today as I've, you know, just been going inside looking a little deeper as to you know do I really want to keep doing this or what and I've decided that I absolutely do because part of me being me is sharing my journey is inspiring other people and just you know going for it <laughs>